Euler's formula is like the bridge between calculus and trigonometry. On one side, you have e to the x, the basic function e to the x. It's the most famous function from calculus. On the other side, you have cosine and sine, the basis of trigonometry, basic formulas from trigonometry. And Euler's formula, e to the i theta, equals cosine theta plus i sine theta, relates these two in an exciting way. You may have used this formula in a trigonometry class. You may have used it in a second semester of calculus. But you insert a real number for theta, and then you can evaluate it with the cosine and the sine to a complex number on the right. e to the i pi, for example, is cosine pi plus i sine pi, which is negative 1 plus 0 i, just negative 1. That gives you the very exciting formula e to the i pi plus 1 equals 0 five most famous numbers in the universe in one equation. And we're going to use it in a more straightforward way. If we have a generic con complex number times t in the exponential, e to the minus 2 plus 3it, for example, we'll distribute the t and split that into two exponentials, a real exponential, e to the minus 2t, and then this complex valued exponential, e to the i times 3t e to the i 3t is cos 3t plus i sine 3t and the e to the minus 2 is a real function that's like an envelope of decay on the cosine and sine oscillation. Sometimes in older books or old engineering manuals people would use the shorthand cis theta, cis theta, cis theta for cosine theta plus i sine theta. But we're going to use this extensively when we have complex eigenvalues in our first order linear systems.